It's the fifth episode, Oversoul. Mmm, get you a girl who will do both. Kick your ass and cook for you. Or get you a man who will do both. Kick your ass and cook for you. Because <laughs> Brie and Anna have both in common. Yeah. It's my boy, Ryu. <laughs> yeah. Like, why were you able to accept being taken over? It's because Ryu is just that awesome. He has the power of a shaman! Oh. Ah, uh, yes. I do love my Ryu. Ryu is bae. Best of place, <laughs> His fucking hair. His goddamn hair. <laughs> I love how Anna thinks of this. Like, becoming a mistress. Love it. Girl is on that entrepreneurial game. I love it. Like, get you a girl who's got her eyes on the prize. That money. Money. Okay, the sword. Oh, they already did it. They summoned Musuke's spirit. And he was pissed. It's like, you broke my sword? And you summoned me from heaven from that? <laughs> this is actually their first meeting. What a shame, their first meeting after all that time. But it's nice that they're finally getting to see each other. It's, it's sweet, it's beautiful. The fortunately did it off screen though, like dang. Woodcutter! Poor Ryu. Uh, he wants to be a shaman so badly. He thought he finally had it. Master Yo always looks at the stars. The stars in the skies are friends. Little Gurren Lagann for your soul. <laughs> yeah, of course Manta's just like wibbly wobbly mumbo jumbo. <laughs> the legendary star, Rago, like Haley's comet, Comet Kaito, the birth of our Lord and Savior. Hey, Native Americans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, showing off everybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Oh. Huh. But that's... They chose him to depict him like that regardless. Fascinating. Okay. Ooh, our boy. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to go back through this. Yeah, lip and wrap, uh, the two little ones. Ooh, okay, that's supposed to be... Ah, uh, so, I was wondering about that. That one scene has, uh, some stereotypes, some, uh, Native African stereotypes. And they decided to kind of cover that up a little bit more. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And him, him, that man back there. Uh, spoiler alert, that is Yo's dad. Which you should already know that if you watch the first episode. Just saying. These two girls, the girl from before, the boys. Cheat me, cheat me, Mario! Cheat me, cheat me, Mario! Cheat me, cheat me, Mario! I hope that song is in here. I hope that song is in here. It's the blessing of becoming a shaman. Isn't there a white knight upon a fiery steed? They deny the toss and turn and dream of what I need. One of the few anime that have such a connection to Native American influences. But it's hard to tell if these are good Native American influences or bad Native American influences. Silva! My man Silva! My man Silva. Icy hot patches all over. Got to get you ready for that shaman fight. Got to get you ready for that shaman fight. Mmm. This man, styling, profiling, got that bling bling ring. <laughs> oh, man. Mmm. 
Only one human ghost chilling out on Foon Body Hill. Fight, fight, shaman, fight, 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 fight. Soul resonance. Yeah, gotta go with the flow. See, look, me tomorrow. Yo's mindset isn't so much that he's naive. It's just that there's no point in worrying. <sighs> Something I need to do a little bit more. Living in the present is much more important. Exactly. Sometimes you gotta just accept how things are. Not dwell on the past. Amida Mara strong. We shall make it through. Doubt clouds the heart. It clouds the soul. <laughs> I love how Silva looks. So good. Man, it's a free park. Well, graveyard. Right, they're breaking and entering. Ah, uh, I always loved how cool Silva looked. Five spirits. Native American holy spirits. Yes. Native American tribes believe in animal spirits and all that good stuff. I like the fact that it's not all just Japanese. It's Native American, African, you know, so on and so forth. There's various different types of those who commune with spirits in all types of culture. The Great Spirit. We commune with the Great Spirit. Like, seriously, Silva looks so cool, but is that like a racist stereotype look? Because even till today, when you think Native American people, it would be the look of Silva right now. Like, you take one look at him and it's just like, that looks like a Native American. You won't even be able to scratch me. Shinku Budodidi. <laughs> I love that. He's got that JoJo pose going. Ah. Yes. It's the next level! Silver Shield! <laughs> Damn! Let me introduce them as I beat your ass. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like JoJo. It's like the spirit can go over and touch something. Spirit possession. Shaman energy. Furyoku. Get used to that word, Furyoku. That is a major component. The silver arms. Makes me think of Mar. Martian Awakens Romance. A good series. <laughs> I swear to God. I think it's Silver Wings. Yes. Silver Wings, I think, is the eagle's name. It's got a big mouth. Furyoku. Yes, the name Furyoku is such an important thing in this series. It's basically power levels for Shaman King. You must use your furyoku. I'm going full weeb. It's like, you must use your Shaman energy. No, you must use your furyoku! Like, it is really just some high level, psychic, mystic mumbo jumbo. Yo, Dono. Yo is, in fact, an idiot. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love Yo, but. <laughs> oh my god, you're sending me tomorrow to heaven. Do not do that, please. <laughs> so it's just like, wow, you uh, have no skill, kid. Oh. The snake was a... Huh. Yes. He's catching on. The reason why all of them are able to take physical form are because they're incorporated into an object. That's the next level of shaman. Yep. <laughs> it's like, I think I understand, so I'll just give it a try and see what happens. Ah, oh, man, silver decked out in all of his silver arms is always so cool. <laughs> of course, Gazaru! The Gazaru! He has. He has discovered the answer! 
Hello, Summer. Uh, I love Silver because he's so willing to teach. Yes, shell of a tortoise protection. They're all within a certain elements of the animal who died. Because there's that special connection. You possess, they possess the object, and you use that object as a form of weapon to draw out their power. Oh, I always loved, I loved Amida Maru in that form. The way he just so angrily is chomping down on the sword. So cool. So cool. Look at that. Look how intense that looks. Uh, but you can see him sweating. He's just not used to that kind of stuff. Oh, Anna. Poor Manta. It's unfortunate Manta isn't seeing this after everything that has happened. Ah, Anna. She's so cruel, and at the same time, she's so kind to Yo. Oh, snap. Here it comes. The big boy. It's a totem pole cannon. I love this weapon. <sighs> That's the weird thing about a lot of the spirits in Shaman King. After a certain point, they all look mechanical for some reason. <sighs> if you take this head on, you will die. Yeah, that's, that's the cruel thing about the Shaman fight. Much like the Hunter exam in Hunter x Hunter, or Hunter x Hunter, you, if you die, that's just kind of like, well, that's your luck. Do you believe in Yo? <sighs> oh man, Manta just calling out his boy Yo. It's just like, he's lazy, he's not up to something like that. And it's just like, you know nothing! <laughs> Forcing a lazy person to save the world. Hmm, that's a good... I don't believe in people who say they want to save the world. Don't like people who are excessively good or bad. Yeah, following a selfish desire. See, that's an interesting perspective. Yo just wants peace. You know, just freedom. Oh man, I feel like that's almost calling out Luffy from One Piece, too. Oh, ooh. Oh, Anna. Yep, and there goes, that's why I love these two. That's, that's why they're my forever pairing. Except no substitutions, I'm sorry. See, that's actually an excellent point. The idea is just like, well, I already know there's life after death, so of course it wouldn't scare me. <laughs> yeah, no, I would not have recommended doing this. Totemic Soul Blast. Oh god. <gasps> Holy shit! Holy shit! They're playing Oversoul! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Ah. <sighs> yeah. Silver is too kind. I always love Silver. He's essentially the Kakashi. Yes, he did successfully hit me. Oh, 
Look at that eyes! He's a pretty ass motherfucker! And he looks almost just like a Peter Parker. Oh god. Yes, the Oracle Bell! Oh, the Oracle Bell! He had an extra scarf. Man, Oversoul is just jamming in the background. Yes. Spirit King. Everything is connected. The Shaman King. Only one person can commune with the Spirit King. Oh yes, it's gonna be deeply interesting. Oh, they're showing it! Oh... Yeah, he killed his Proctor. Oh, Ren. Next time, yo versus Horo Horo. Yo versus Horo Horo. Ah, oh, man. I'm so ready to see some horror horror, but man. Ren's decision to end the life of that Proctor is something that will haunt him for the rest of this series. Like, it's that deep. It's that deep. But, uh, horror horror. Horror horror! Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's like Perona's laugh from One Piece. Hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, that's enough of that. But uh, uh Oversoul playing in the background. Yo, you got my nostalgia firing in all cylinders with that. Fantastic. Fuba the sea. Oh, I love I, I love this episode. Such a good episode because it's the beginning of all the really good action. This is where the action gets in the high gear. You know, I'm sorry for anyone who goes by the three episode rule and wasn't feeling it because it's it's here that things really just kick off into high gear. Like this is the point. This is the point where everything changes and just explodes. It, it, it's where things get fantastic. It's it's where my deepest love of this series comes in. I enjoyed the series at first when I originally watched the original series, the original anime from 2001, but, oh, it was the fight with Silver that just blew me away, because it's just like, it, it showed the depth of how intelligent Yo could really be, and how capable, how smart he could be in a fight, it was, it, it did fantastic things for me, and I hope it did a lot for you, so, Tell me your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Were you not feeling it? Did, do you have any connection to the song Oversoul by Megumi Hayashibara? Were you marking out like I was? Like, God damn! God damn! Oh, I was feeling it. I was I was feeling it. I was feeling it a whole bunch. So, uh, uh, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, or don't. I ain't your daddy. And until next time, I've been Deez Diz Din, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>